You are listening to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The federal government can restrict free speech and press, but there are several limitations to this power. For example, laws restricting the time, place, and manner of expression must be content neutral and applied fairly. Laws restricting expression cannot be vague. Restrictions on expression must be clear so that people know what is permitted and what is forbidden. For example, an administrative rule prohibiting disrespectful speech that interferes with the public good would be too vague. Neither a person wanting to speak in a lawful manner nor a police official charged with enforcement would know what the rule permits or prohibits. Laws restricting expression may not be overly broad and must be implemented by the least restrictive means. Regulations must be written narrowly so that they solve a specific problem without limiting more expression than is necessary. Regulations also must employ the least restrictive means of achieving their goals. For example, violence sometimes erupts during political protests. Banning all political protests would be broader than necessary to solve the problem of occasional violence. Therefore, such a ban would not be the least restrictive means for reducing the risk of violence. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.